this divine being that is one, no matter the name we use. So when we do the practices, uh, you, we hope you will join us. So there's a short reading in your program, which we're not going to read tonight, but you're welcome to read on your own. Um, this is a participatory practice. That I, I hope you'll join me in the um, sacred science of vibration of sound. The ah sound tends to resonate here in the center of the chest, affecting the heart and the lungs and the cardiac plexus, and of course the subtle centers here. The ooh sound tends to resonate in the throat, where the, the uh, cervical plexus is and, and the voice. Um, the E sound tends to resonate up here behind the forehead where we affect the uh, pineal and pituitary glands. The N or M sound is dire directed upwards, affects the crown. The O tends to work in the belly where the solar plexus is and the abdominal organs. So we're going to play with that a little bit together. So please join me. We'll start with A. Ah. So just sit up nice and straight. Ah. harmonies are always lovely. Let's place the ooh sound in our throat. sound, place your tongue up on your palate and direct the sound upwards behind your forehead there towards the third eye. Okay. Mm. Similar kind of uh, placement of your tongue, we're going to direct the N or the M, whichever feels better to you, straight up and try to get it right through your fontanelle, reaching as high as you can. place the O in our belly. So you may notice like the sacred sound of the uh, Hindu tradition, the Aum, is the A ah, and the U and the M, yes? In Aramaic, the first word, of, the first line of the Lord's Prayer is Aboon, same sounds Aum, pointing to the source of creation. So just as a little experiment, pick any of those sounds or all of them and let's all do them all together. Ready? Uh, 
for a moment, notice how you feel. Do you feel an opening in your heart, in your throat, in your forehead, in your belly? Is your breath going deeper? Thank you very much. La ilaha illallah 